Hello and welcome to building a redundant switch topology. Redundancy is an important concept for enterprise networks. Whenever possible, the network should eliminate places that create a single point of failure. For example, if you follow the Cisco Enterprise Campus architecture model, an access layer switch has a connection to two distribution layer switches. Although this topology provides redundant paths, it causes inherent looping related problems in a layer two switch network. And these problems include multiple frame transmissions. Multiple copies of the same unicast frames may be delivered to a destination station, which can cause problems with the receiving protocol. Multiple copies of the same frame can cause unrecoverable errors. MAC database instability. This problem results from copies of the same frame being received on different ports of the switch. The receiving switch is then constantly updating its MAC address table with the source host MAC address changing from one port to another. Data forwarding can be impaired when the switch consumes the resources that are coping with the instability in the MAC address table. The biggest problem is broadcast storms. This occurs when each switch on a redundant network receives a broadcast frame from a host and then floods the frame endlessly around the loop in all directions. In this section, you'll discover how the spanning tree protocol allows physical path redundancy while preventing the undesirable effects of active loops in the network. The spanning tree protocol forces certain ports in a standby state so they do not listen, forward, or flood data frames, and therefore provides only one active path to each network segment. There are several different spanning tree protocols, some legacy, some more popular than others. This section will focus on the operation, configuration, and optimization of Cisco's implementation of rapid spanning tree protocol, called rapid PVST, as well as the standard, multiple spanning tree protocol, or MST. You will learn the characteristics of each, their advantages and disadvantages, and how to manipulate them to provide load sharing across multiple paths. Thanks for watching this introduction to building a redundant switch topology, and enjoy the rest of the